This is the hands-on review of Astronaut VR brought to you by Daydream District and our sponsor Skybox. Hi and welcome again here at Daydream District. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, subscribe now and click the bell button so you don't miss anything. Astronaut VR is new for Daydream VR and it can be yours for only 1 euro and 99 cents. It's, as you might tell from the first moments here, a uh, simulation, an astronaut simulation. So finally, you can live your dreams and become an astronaut and check out how is the life as an astronaut. And as you just saw in the beginning, there's a menu where you can choose from three different experiences. Now, this is the first experience here. It's the astronaut pool. It's a water pool. And here you're going to learn the basics of how you would move within that game. And we have a short text here. And now my task is to dive into this pool. I would control my astronaut simply with my gaze and I can go forward with the touchpad. Now, that is all very simple and intuitive. And now I gotta go through this Run tube here. Discovery. Yeah, and good. <laughs> now I should go to the shuttle. So this here is a very, very simple tutorial to get me going on how the controls work in this little simulation. Roger, roll, discovery. Yeah, no problems with the controls whatsoever. The only problem that I saw here is that the hands of the astronaut look comically big when in VR. So that is something that the developer could work on. The proportions seem to be a bit off here. Okay, now here is the second experience. It's the space station. Now I gotta move myself through the space station and find the EVA suit, EVA suit. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go a bit closer to the window here and have a good look at our Mother Earth. Now, that part here, I really like it. It, it feels like I'm floating through the space station. I can have a good look at, at Earth. And yeah, I must say it does feel like I'm on the space station and floating through it now. And it's cool to have a look at Earth th through those space windows, nice. Very cool. All right, let's further check out what the space station has to offer here from the inside. So I'm floating through it here. And the only thing that you got to do here is, is I think exploring and just getting a feel for how it must be to be in the space station. Yeah, I think my, mi my mission here was to find this EVA suit, the suit that will allow me to leave this space station. And that's exactly what's going to happen in the third experience. In the third experience, I'm floating through space, having a look at the space station and of course also on Earth. So yeah, looking forward to that. But first, I'm floating here through the space station. Not really sure what is up and what is down, but I think that is exactly how the real space space station is like and this gives you a good feel actually how it must be to be there i like it now i'm finding my way to the eva suit no idea where it's going to wait for me but here are some laptops dangling from the walls and yeah i can change my point of view by simply gazing around and then I'm going to f fly or move into that direction when I also click forward on the daydream motion controller. 
Okay, I think here we cannot go through. I wonder what that is, like suitcases. Well, yeah, would make sense since I have I had to travel so far to get here. Mm, would need some suitcases. So let's go back. And yeah, the motion is very slow. So I don't think that anybody could get sick by this motion. Well, you have a lot of motion, but it's really slow. So I don't think you'd have to worry if you're like afraid, afraid that you could get sick here. I don't think this is possible. Okay, more suitcases, laptops, tubes. Okay, yeah, lots of things floating around here. But yeah, you can't really interact with anything. It's, it's really just more of an experience for your visual senses to give you an, an idea how it might look like when you are in the International Space Station. And here's the exit. Let's take this one. And here are the suits. And also, when you're in VR... Mission accomplished, good. When you're in VR, th these suits, they look comically huge. So I don't know what it is here with the scales. Now, when I look, when I see that here in on YouTube, it looks fine. But in, in within VR, it looks huge. And now this is the third experience. And this is really actually the main experience, yeah? Because you are floating in space. You have a great view on the space station, on the International Space Station. And in the background is Earth. This is a very, very cool feeling. I can tell you that. Just the only thing again, the hands, they look so huge. Everything looks huge. I don't know what's the matter with, with that, but uh, that is a bit unfortunate. So hope the developer could could change that somehow and put it into scale. Now, the space station, though, with that backdrop of the Earth and being able to move around here, it's fantastic. It feels it feels so great. Now, the mission in this experience is to to um, to get some of the tools that have been forgotten outside by your team member and I'm just going to float to one of the tools now to give you an idea how that will look like so there's there's this tool and I'm trying to get it now getting closer and now this music starts. Enjoy that feeling now. Roger roll, Discovery. Now, that was a great moment in VR. Really cool, fantastic, I liked it a lot. So, now I have to find the other tools which were left here by my colleague, but I'm not going to show you that because it is kind of similar. So, and whenever you get out of range of this um, ISS, if you get a bit further away, then the music will start again and it's gonna be great again. Yeah, so this is Astronaut VR for Daydream VR. Can be used for one euro and 99 cents. And I think if you would like to feel how it feels to be in space, 
go ahead and invest those one euro and 99 cents i don't think you can go wrong even though it's a bit short of an experience and probably in the future they're going to be more missions in space that would be very good and also the hands could be a bit smaller so for one euro 99 i say yes i'm going to keep that game and you can check it out for yourself i'm going to leave a link in the description below and that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if yes give it a thumbs up and of course if you have not subscribed to daydream this yet do so now Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.